In this video, let's see another ITJ problem which was asked in the year 2011. The problem was based on the concept of matrices and its inverse. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started. The question has a wording which is a bit lengthy. We'll be extracting whatever information we require and then solving it. So, the question is let M and N be two 3 by 3 non-singular matrices. Again, I said the question is a bit lengthy. Let's note whatever we need. It is a 3 by 3 matrix case. That means M and N both are 3 by 3 matrices. These are skew symmetric matrices. Skew symmetric means what? That M transpose is equal to minus of M, N transpose is equal to minus of N. And such that, that means a condition is given to me, MN is equal to NM. So it is like MN is equal to NM. I darken it with the red marker also so as to see that this information is relevant. If PT, that means P transpose denotes the transpose of P that we already know, then you have to find the value of this lengthy expression. So, okay, we have four options. We'll be seeing later on which option is the correct answer. First, let's write the heading as a solution. So, the question is what? It is M square N square multiply by M transpose N inverse, which is the whole inverse. Then it is M N inverse whole transpose. Please Take care while noting the elements. Do not confuse with the brackets or the inverse or the transpose because these are very important. Note everything as it is till the step which needs transformation. We know that AB transpose is equal to B transpose, A transpose. We'll be using that formula. So accordingly, it is M transpose N whole inverse. Then AB transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. So what is the second thing that is N inverse transpose and A transpose means M transpose. So it is M transpose, right? Now what next? It is M square, it is M transpose N inverse, it is N inverse whole transpose, it is M transpose. We have a formula given to us. Where is the formula? Let's see. It is MN is equal to NM. This we have to use sooner or later. We'll be using that, but first, foremost, m square, n square needs to be written. Then, we have something called as a, b whole inverse, which is b inverse, a inverse. So, use that b inverse, that means second term inverse, into a inverse. Rest is same, rest is n inverse, transpose, m transpose, right? I repeat the formulas used. The first one was what? The first one was AB whole transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. This was the formula. Let's write it in a box. The second formula was what? Similar to this AB whole inverse is equal to B inverse A inverse. Right. Come to the question again. It is M square N square. No change. Let's write it as it is. N inverse M transpose inverse. You remember the wording of the question skew symmetric matrix? Skew symmetric means what? A matrix transpose is equal to minus of that matrix. That means what? That means N inverse does not change. But yes, M transpose is minus M. So M transpose is what? It is minus M. Whole inverse does not change. It remains as it is. N inverse whole transpose. Again, the same thing in the question skew symmetric matrix mentioned. That means what? N transpose is equal to minus M. So if N transpose is equal to minus N, what is N inverse transpose equal to? It is minus N inverse. M transpose remains as it is. Let's see. It is M square, N square, N inverse, minus M inverse, minus N inverse, M transpose. Few things can be manipulated in a manner as what? We have two N's in this case. N square means two N's. So write M square, expand N square to N multiplied by N. Keep writing the other stuff that is N inverse goes as it is. It is minus, minus, making it plus. No change here. M inverse, N inverse, M transpose. Now, what is the value of M transpose? Being it a skew symmetric matrix, it is minus M. So let's modify it in this step itself. M transpose is equal to minus M. That minus sign comes outside. Minus has come outside. Now, 
what is n n inverse any matrix multiplied by its inverse gives me the identity matrix and that identity matrix behaves as one in mathematics so anything multiplied by one does not change so it basically vanishes and disappears so we are left with minus m square multiply by n multiply by m inverse multiply by n inverse and m now the positions can be changed if i have n multiplied by m inverse you can change the position any time right so it is minus m square n m inverse n inverse m let's make space for the solution we'll be writing it in the second column let's repeatedly write all the elements do not get confused minus m square was here n m inverse was here n m inverse was here next is n inverse m n inverse m we had a condition in the question and the question condition said me mn is equal to nm we'll be using that mn is equal to mn that means what minus m square can be written as 2 times m n remains as it is m inverse n inverse m these things don't change mn mn in the question is nm so let's interchange so it is minus m nm m inverse n inverse m i repeat what we have done we had minus m into m first minus m you copied as it is then m in you said it became nm So you wrote the values. Rest you copied as it is. Now, what is m m inverse? It is again multiplication of a matrix with the inverse. It becomes identity. Identity multiplied by any other thing does not change. So it basically vanishes to minus m n n inverse m. Again, what is n n inverse? Any matrix multiplied by its inverse gives me identity. Identity multiplied by any other stuff does not change it. So it is minus m into m. so it is minus m into m and what is m into m it is m square so it is minus m square so the answer that i get to hold this lengthy solution is minus m square check the option the option number c is the answer it is minus m square so this solution was for the itj question asked in the year 2011 and the question used the concept of inverse and transpose of a matrix